NBN Network Media News for all races connecting you to the world. Amen. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to make his speech, may I respectfully invite the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesum is the World Week, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Seven Star of River State, Power Sports Africa. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, the former governor of Kaduna State, the former national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, distinguished senator Ahmed McCarthy, Your Excellency, the former governor of our state. Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of Kaduna State, the right, the Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the Deputy Speaker, the Distinguished Senator representing the Rivers West Senatorial District, the former Deputy Speakers of the House of Representatives, the right of Chubudu Muche, and Austin Opera, Chairman. Our previous leaders, Council Chief Ferdinand Alababa, our distinguished leaders, members of the State Executive Council, the delegation, the chairman of PDP in Kaduna State, and members of the special guests of our delegation, our traditional rulers that are here, my dear brothers and sisters, the two chairmen of Ahuda East and Ahuda West. The Ebena community, the people of Ebena, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Ebena Mekano, Ebena Mekano, Mekano, special guests of honor, let me on behalf of the government and people of the state most sincerely appreciate and thank you for honoring our invitation to be with us for two days. And today, we commission the Mena Road, and tomorrow we back to Aguda East to commission one of the roads. Your Excellency, it may trust you to know that I don't even know where to call the Mena. This is my first time of coming to where they call the Ebena. All I see there is as a hoda. But see, when you are passing on the road, you will not know how big these communities are. This is one project I have never supervised. In all the projects, I have not been here to supervise this particular project. So when I was told that the project had been completed, and it was done by a local contractor, we believe that while we give out jobs to other big contractors, we should also encourage the local contractors. And I'm happy that we are not disappointed with the work done by the company. It's one of the promises I made when I came to this area during the course of our campaigns. To the glory of God, I want to say, every promise I've made here, I have fulfilled them. I don't want to talk about Ebe as a whole. I don't want to talk about Ebe as a whole. I only want to talk about Ahoda East. The Shiba Road, we did it where Chibuda Uche comes from. This one we have completed. The, we gave them a campus of River State University, which we commissioned this year, May, June. 
Tomorrow, we are going to one of them again to commission. As we are coming, you can see the dualization of Abuda Road by Julius Baker. And to the glory of God, I want to say, we are working on how we can extend it to the back to Obok by the grace of God. So what you will see, what you, in fact, we have already almost completed the one from almost the way back in Imbu State. So the people of Abuda have stood with us all the time. Not necessarily because they are my in laws, but because politically they have never disappointed us in any election. And I believe now that we have fulfilled, they first of all fulfilled their own promise by voting for us, we have also reciprocated by fulfilling our own promise of providing the physical infrastructures. Abuda will no longer be a rural area by the time they free that dualization. I would have one of the cities as far as River State is uh, concerned. By the time the reversing starts, of course, you will know what will happen. People will be building houses for students to stay. Economic activities will come up. And these are things that make cities to come up. And so you must continue to have faith in PDP. It's the only party that has to work for Nigerians. You have tried another party at the national level. They have failed you. Have they not failed you? Have they not failed you? I really wonder, those your sons and daughters, the remnants remaining in that failure party, what are they still doing there? What are they still doing? This, this their party was in power here. They never classified any chief taxi. I came, I gave you six first class. Six first class. I gave you. Even though they are not doing well, even though they are not doing well, when I come, when I come for the reception, I hear you are receiving me on Saturday, you know? Is it not? Is that the I will talk with them that day. Today is for commissioning. We don't mix it uh, up. We don't mix it up. So I will tell them that day how far they are not doing uh, well. So I'm happy. You have seen the failure of the federal government. Promises upon promises. What I get is. Failure upon the failure. And time has come, Nigeria must brace up and say, look, we can't continue with this. You have come out in your large numbers today to receive us for just commissioning. But you cannot complete this work without also mobilizing yourself in 2023 to make sure you vote out bad government. If you don't vote out a bad government, you are one of the bad persons. Do you understand me? So all of us must brace up to say this suffering, God has helped us to survive. We can't continue. Will we continue? No. Do you want to continue? No. Because that the mere fact that God has made you to survive does not mean you continue to suffer that way. PDT has the magic to change the failure of this APC led government at the federal uh, level. So let nobody deceive you again. PDP is fully prepared. While we have co uh, commissioning projects, they are uh, the governors, all of them are meeting every day to hold convention. We are talking about delivering dividends of uh, democracy. They are thinking whether it will work or not to hold their convention. If I know them very well, it's likely to not hold. They will give us one excuse again. May failure continue to be on their path. May failure continue to be on their path. And may success continue to be on the path of PDT. Say a louder amen. For the owner of the house. The day that kidnapping, they are happy.
the day the law will carry them up, that is the end of them. That is the end of them. I don't understand how we are wicked to ourselves. Wicked to ourselves. So I just have to say that, tell those boys to leave the worker so that the communities there can have a good life. Any community without a road, they suffer a lot. Road is key to opening up communities. Road is key to bring our farm produce to the cities. I, I don't understand. So I felt I should also say this. The, the good work of CDC and youth is to stop some of this little, little, uh, uh, not to stop contractors from worrying, not to get kidnap workers who are doing work for us. That will not make our communities to be known. That will not bring development to our communities. So, on this note, sir, let me invite the special guest of honor to come and talk to you, former National Party Chairman of PDP, a two-time governor of Kaduna State, Senator. If you combine all this, eight years governor, national chairman, Senator, my brother, that is coming to Ahuda today and tomorrow, because of you, you will have very lucky. You will have very lucky. So I invite the single senator, Ahmed Magazine, to come and talk to you and commission Excellency Governor Nelson Wiki, my good friend, your Excellency former Governor of uh, River State, Celestine, uh, distinguished members of the National Assembly here present, your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I stand on all existing protocol. This is the second time I'll be commissioning a project in River State. The first time was a secondary school uh, when we were in caretaker committee. And since then, even before then, I have been monitoring not just, you, you just cannot escape not to see. Even if you don't monitor, you must see it. The state of project execution and commissioning in river states is unprecedented in any state in this country. And um, the kind of development going on here is a balanced development. What do you, what I refer to balanced development is that you see development in the cities, development in the rural areas, development in all sectors of infrastructure and social services, business roads, schools, hospitals, other social programs. That is what we need in each state. That is what we need in this country to have a de balanced development that would take Nigeria forward. Mm. Your Excellency, your language of stomach infrastructure, which is empowerment of people, is noble. Welcome. <clears throat> Not only rivers, we need it across our country. It's about not just giving fish, but teaching people how to cut the fish. I commend you for this program. If you had not mentioned it, I was going to talk about it because I read about it when at commissioning ceremony you mentioned it for the first time. And it is for you people 
<coughs> to recipro uh, reciprocate. When you are taught how to catch fish, catch big fish. Don't go catching small, small fish. So that you can also teach others how to fish and catch fish. He mentioned the issue of security. Some, well, we are largely secured compared to where I come from. They are only mentioning one road, one area, where I come from. And of course, it's not PDP governing there. So I'm not surprised. We are unsecured all over. And it's not just where I come from. The zone where I come from, the Northwest Zone, is highly unsecured. And we have a president from Northwest Zone. It is regrettable. Therefore, the only way out is for PDP to come back to power. And we shall come back to power by God's grace. They will continue to be divided, we will continue to be united. Whatever are our issues, they are tiny, they are very minor, and we have the capacity as Democrats to lock our door, aggregate them out, and come out one strong united party and march forward and form the next government at the center and in the entire state of this federation, if not in overwhelming majority of states of this federation, because we are realists. Your Excellency, I know what you are doing. Some know what you are doing for this party. Don't give up. But let it be known for those who should know also what you are doing. Because until people are informed, they will remain misinformed. It is very, very important. And that is why under the leadership of our capable national chairman, Professor Senator Ayu, we must come together, work united, look at stretcher across the country, and come out and march those in power and return to power come 2023. We are capable of doing that. It's a singular honor and pleasure to come to the area where Her Excellency comes from to commission project today and project tomorrow. It's an honor to me. And it also it happens to be where Right Honorable Chibudon comes from, the former Deputy Speaker. It's a great honor. Your Excellency, River State is lucky. They have got you at the time that it needs you. Do not get tired. Work with your colleagues. Work with your other leaders so that together we can have a repeat, not only in rivers, in all states across the country where we we'll capture and at the national level at large. It is a pleasure to be with you. God bless you. And God bless the people of Ahoda and the uh, Epene communities where this project is located. God bless River State. God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank, thank you very much. In the, name, in the name of God, the beneficiary, the merciful, I have the singular honor and pleasure to commission this road constructed by the by Mr. Super Projects, not just Mr. Project, Governor Nelson Wiki of River State pillar of our party, a great leader. God bless you. God bless the people of River Street. Construction of Ahuda 
a federal road. Executed by the administration of His Excellency Nelson Ezeo Wiki, CUN GSSRS, Governor of River State, commissioned by me, Ahmed Mohamed Mokarfi, former Governor of River State, on this third day of March 2022. To God be the glory. Thank you very much. The National Anthem.